Dr. McWheelie. This is a gas station. Cars come here to fill their tanks. Let's see how they do it. They need to put a special nozzle into their tanks. The fuel comes through the hose and the nozzle into the tank. Something's wrong! The filling station doesn't work anymore, and the cars that need fuel keep coming. You need to call Dr. McWheelie. Here she is. She oils parts of her robot Handy. Without oil, Handy begins to creak. Oh, the gas station's calling. Dr. McWheelie, please help us out. The filling station doesn't work. I'm on my way, said Dr. McWheelie, and we'll fix Handy later. Dr. McWheelie drove in her yellow cabrio to the gas station. Look! There are so many cars waiting for their fuel! Let's find out what happened. Dr. McWheelie needs to inspect everything. Maybe the filling station broke. What's inside? Remove the outer panel. Hmm, nothing is broken. But fuel still doesn't come out. Maybe it's the fuel. Maybe it does not come to the station from the underground reservoir. Let's check it. Here under the ground, there are huge tanks with fuel. Open the hatch and see what's there. Ah! I see! There is no more fuel! We need a petrol tanker to fill such a huge tank! Hello, petrol tanker! Please bring us gas to the gas station. The petrol tanker arrived immediately. Now we can fill the tank with this hose. The petrol tanker can go and fill other gas stations now. Let's see if the station works now. Hooray! Return the panel to its place. The gas station works again. 
Thank you, Dr. McWheely. Dr. McWheely. This is Dr. McWheely's garage. And this is Dr. McWheely. What is she doing today? Oh, she's building a time machine. Dr. McWheely wants to travel back in time to find out how cars were built before. Now we'll learn how cars looked 250 years ago. Let's go to the past. Dr. McWheely is very curious. It worked! Everything looks so unusual. Funny cars drive along the roads and puff like trains. They use steam to drive, like steam locomotives. This is a steam bus. It looks like a carriage, only without horses. How do these cars drive? Let's see. Steam cars have a big boiler in front. It's engine. Below is a fire that heats the water. The water evaporates and turns into steam. Steam passes through a pipe into a special chamber. There, the steam pushes a piston, which rotates the wheels with levers. The steam does all the work. That's why the car is called a steam car. Steam locomotives and steamboats also work this way. And what's interesting about the old repair shop? There's a huge oven and a broken steam car. What's wrong with you, steam car? The pin that should hold the wheel is broken. What can we do? Dr. McWheely knows. She will forge a new pin. Let's put on gloves. And take a bolt. Now, heat the bolt in the oven to make it softer. And put it on the anvil. Hit it with a hammer to change the shape of the bolt so that it turns into a pin. It looks like a thin stick. Now let's bend it. The pin is ready. Let's see if it works. Lift the car and install the wheel in place. Pull the chain. And now fix it with the pin. Before the wheels were attached with pins, now we use bolts. It's safer. It works! The steam car can drive now. 
Bye bye, car. It's time to go home, Dr. McWheelie, to the present. Maybe next time she will go on a new journey in her time machine. Dr. McWheelie Today, Dr. McWheelie drives a huge truck. Is there a surprise in the body? How interesting! Dr. McWheelie is going to show us. This is her new project. A new super fast car. Dr. McWheelie, show us the car, please. Ta-da! This is the fastest car in the world. Wow! It looks like a plane. But it's even faster than a plane because it has two big super engines. Look! Normal cars go fast. Passenger planes are much faster than cars. And Dr. McWheelie's super fast car is the fastest. It's faster than cars and airplanes. First, we need to fill the car with rocket fuel. Here is a fuel tanker. Let's put the hose into the tank filler. like this. Fuel is pouring through the hose. Our super fast car needs a lot of fuel. Done! Let's test it. Get into the car! Start the engine. Whoa! It's driving so fast! It's almost flying! Dr. McWheelie drives through the desert at a huge speed. She did a great job! 
Next time, she'll prepare a new surprise for us. Subscribe to our channel and watch more episodes. Bye! Dr. McWheelie It's morning, Dr. McWheelie! Wake up! Time to get up! Dr. McWheelie needs to go to the auto parts store. She needs spare parts for broken cars. The auto parts store is not very far. It won't take long, thinks Dr. McWheelie. Jam. What to do? How can she get back home in time? If only she had a car that could drive over other cars. It would go up and drive forward. Oh, but how would it go around road signs? No, such a vehicle wouldn't work. Let's think of something else. What if she could wear a backpack with a jet engine? She could get into the air and fly over the road. This way, she could fly around road signs and over the cars on the ground. Oh, Dr. McWheelie is falling! No fuel left. She can't go far like this. What if... She builds a flying car? would have wheels to ride on the road and propellers to raise the car into the air. <laughs> Looks like a helicopter! Dr. McWheelie likes this idea. 
While Dr. McWheelie was dreaming, all the cars went ahead, and the road is now free. You can go. Oh, Dr. McWheelie lost a screw again in this episode. Like this. If you see it, please write in the comments where to find it. Until next time, bye!